Hi, this is Brian from Bee's Music Shop, and I'm here at the 2023 Chicago Vintage and Custom Drum Show, and I'm here with Jim from Chicago Drum. This is a company I wanted to kind of learn more about. You got a really cool setup here. How's it going, Jim? I'm good, thank you. I'm doing good at this uh, show here. Um, Chicago Drum, we're building kind of a vintage style drum based on an uh, old Slingerland uh, drum oh, really? company. Uh, I have a family history with Slingerland. A couple of great uncles worked there back in the plant. One uh, ran a wood shop. My father was uh, an employee for 30 plus years. When I was much younger, I did the high school, uh, after school, night shift, uh, summer vacations. I was working at the plant. So, oh wow. Um, Slingerland was in my blood. We're building them in that tradition using the same type of woods, mahogany poplar or maple poplar shell. Solid maple reinforcement rings, 30 round over edges. Wow. Um, yeah, we're making a, a vintage drum. Yeah, I mean, that's it's so cool. I see that, and, you know, Chicago, for me, is drum making. I mean, that's one of the things where, you know, for so long, that was where all the drums in the world really came out of. So well, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's another why we called ourselves Chicago Drum. Back in the day, Slingerland, Ludwig, Campo, they were all in the area at our three biggies. And yeah. uh, when, when we formed this company, we pick Chicago for it, and, and that's you know, there's a lot like you say, your family's here. There's a lot of history of that drum building in this in this community in this area. Right. So it's really yeah. cool. Yeah. You want to take show us what you what you brought here? Um, well, we have some some new things we're trying this year. These are all solid one ply steam vent shells. Um, this one in particular is a mahogany with solid maple reinforcement rings in there it just looks beautiful just like a piece of furniture inside there and that's i mean that's how i remember a, a vintage slingerland looking i mean yeah. that, that ring I, when, as soon as you say that and i look at that i'm like yeah yeah that's yeah it, man. that's it you know and you even uh we, you, you we have, have some... the stick saver rims yes we do yeah Nice. Yep. The old I like you call King. them stick savers. I, I, yeah. I, I, there's yeah. a sharper one they made that I had a different name uh, they, for. It. Yeah. Well, we have uh, a pair of those on that drum over there in the yeah. set. So and they do look a, a little bit more yeah. comfortable and good. The, so. the choppers are on that set. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, can we see a couple of these other? Like, yeah. This, this is solid. This is a solid walnut shell. Wow. Um, die cast hoops on it. Very nice drum. Yeah, it's super cool. Came you said that's like, one one piece, right? Is one piece, said? yeah. Well, the the re rings aren't aren't one piece, yes, but the yeah. shell itself is is one piece. Yes. Yeah, that's really um, cool. We, the die cast look great on. It's a nice touch. Yeah, nice yeah. and beefy. Yeah, awesome. Yep. Yeah, just, and I wanna I wanna take a look at some of these. I I see that you just have a lot of cool finishes and different stuff. Can we look at a couple of these over here? Sure. And maybe up front. Sure. Uh, this is. Oh, oh, here you come over this, here and pull. This one is out our uh, our pretty things finishes. We have a, a number of uh, colors uh, on this. It's not a wrap. It's a paint dip finish. So oh, wow. um, you dip the shell in water. It's in for seconds. We we blow it off entirely, so there's no water on it after it comes out. Um, it, it gets clear coated, polished. Uh, and, and yeah. That's it. I mean, there, it, it each individual drum. Is different, so we can make it work with the set we have in the past. Um, the bigger, the bigger the drum, the the more fade on the color. The, the pinks turn, or the reds turn pink. The greens turn real light pink. You know, uh, yeah. that type of deal. But uh, it, it's a really cool. Yeah. What's cool the look. composition of that shell? This is a uh, maple poplar shell. Okay. So. Yeah. Those are beautiful, man. Thank you. You see a couple more out of there? I see you got a white green pearl, you got a sparkle, you're doing all the classic finishes. Yeah, I mean. Is that a mahogany down there? Or yeah, is that... this is a mahogany. Um, mini beaver tail double lug drum here. Ooh. A little trick throw off on it, but uh, very nice workhorse. Nice. That's a, that's a real classy looking drum. I like that. You've got, behind us here, you've got a couple of cool finishes. What do you want to tell us about this guy? Um, this is a, a fractal burnt uh, finish. Uh, Actually, it's uh, fun and uh, very dangerous to do. Very high-end uh, voltage on it, but how, it so how does that process for somebody who doesn't know how it work? It's, well, the, the shell gets basically sprayed down, so it's got enough moisture on it, and uh, it's a high-end. It's called a mock burner, a microwave oven transformer, um, and you have a positive and a negative, and you hold it on spots on the drum and they, they find each other, so the fingers are, are looking for each other. And yeah. 
you don't have control over what it does, but you can place it in different spots and fill the area. Yeah, so, I, I saw it. Yeah, this you don't one. Mind me, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll grab this that one now. That shows up a little bit better. Yeah, you put the, I'll hold this for a second. Yeah, I saw this from across there and thought that looks, yeah, it kind of looks like a tree. Or, yeah, uh, a tree, tree roots, a bonsai tree, uh, you know, people. Lightning. Yeah, yeah. Probably better. Light, lightning's really what but, it is. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. So, it's a neat look. Yeah. I didn't see that anywhere else in the booth. I walked by and saw that, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. A, fun, that's a fun experimentation." Um, one thing we do is uh, the old-fashioned canister thrones. Oh, really? Is over here. Um, whoop. We're running away on. So this is the same height as the old Slingerland thrones, same diameter as the old Slingerland thrones, but ours is the only one that actually moves with you, like. Uh, a tri-legged throne like this. Oh yeah. Um, so it's a little more comfortable to uh, go around to set with because it kind of moves with it. You're not stationary. So and you, and you can still, you know, Eric, you're right in here. Check this out. You can like open yeah, these old. There's yeah, three. Sorry, I got a hold in the thing, but three latches in there, and you can put some stuff in there. About yeah. 17 inches high, so you wouldn't get any stands in there, but you know, stick bag, little. Probably stick a pedal in there, little yeah. accessories, whatever. So, good safe saving thing. Back in the day, they, this was what they had, you know. It's awesome. So, and you got to get a shot of the ginger glitter because we've been having comments on that one all uh, weekend long here. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a cool finish. I like the finish, stripes but, and the snare. Yeah, well, that that was the first one, and I I, I kind of like the finish on it, and uh, we built that kit. So yeah. Very nice gorgeous, little gorgeous wrap. Yeah, yeah thank you. you. Just did a great job on it. Yeah, awesome. Well, hey, appreciate you talking to you today. Thank, thank you. Very much. Thanks for stopping.